Welcome. My name is Brad Prather. I'm with DWD Technology Group. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to track changes made to customer records in AR customer maintenance. So if you ever come across a customer record and notice that a, an address had changed, a name had changed, phone number, salesperson, any number of things, and wondered, wonder who made that change, and I wonder when it was made. Well, I'm going to show you the steps that you can take to keep track of that information and then how to access that information once it's being kept track of. The first thing you need to do is go into your accounts receivable module, into the setup folder, and go into the options task. From there, you'll go to the history tab, and right up here in the upper left is the customer audit section. First thing you want to do is determine what changes you would like to track. Your choices are none, all, deletions, additions, and changes. Our recommendation is that you go ahead and keep track of all of your changes. As you cannot go back and get changes that have been made from previous changes if you're not already keeping track of them. So if you haven't turned this on, this will only keep track of anything from this time forward. So I am selecting all, and then again, recommend that you check the track additions in detail checkbox. Uh, of course, that will keep the maximum amount of data. And I'll show you here in a minute or two how you can purge that data to keep that data file uh, not quite as, as full. So I've made my changes. I'm going to accept. And then as we go through in accounts receivable and you have uh, people making changes, uh, in this case, since we have selected all, it would also keep track of any additions, any deletions uh, to that customer master file. And once you have a question as to what it was that happened and when it happened to that customer master file, you are going to go back up to the accounts receivable reports folder. And down near the bottom of that list is what's called the customer audit report. In your customer audit report, you have some choices that you can make here. You have a couple of sort options. You can sort it by user logon, or you can sort it by customer number. And then you have some selection criteria that you can choose. Again, user logon, customer number, and you can also choose to look at uh, by date. So maybe you know that this change had to be made in the last month or so, and you want to select by date. I'm going to go ahead and do all and preview that report. And it'll come up on my screen here. And as you can see, it has kept track of the changes that were made to the customer master file. In this particular case, they were all changes. They were all made on 619 other user logon of DWD. The great thing about the detail is that it will tell you what the original field value was as well as the new field value. You can also search this report if you preview it like this. There is a find button up here. So if you want to try to find a particular um, customer, again, if you didn't select by that customer, once you get this document open, if you decide there's some things you want to a search by, you can use the find option here. Okay, now once I close that report, I get a prompt that asks me if I want to purge the audit file. At this point, my file is not too big, and so I'm going to answer no. But you should be aware of if you've had this option turned on since the beginning, or you have had it turned on for a long time and you've made a number of changes to your customer files, that data file can become quite big. And to run the report, it can actually take uh, as long as 15 to 20 minutes. I have seen it take that long before. So before purging this file, if you get to the situation where it is taking, again, a significant amount of time to run that report, before you answer yes to the purge, we recommend that you go down here and you either print a hard copy of the report, or hopefully you've got your paperless office, options turned on to print your reports. 
you can go down here in the lower left hand corner select the paperless office and then choose to print the report from here i'm going to store that as a pdf if i wanted to email it to somebody as well or even email it to myself uh, to keep out on a, a server directory or, or something, I could do that. In this case, I'm just going to create the PDF. And now I have a hard copy of that file. At this point, I can then go ahead and say, yes, I'd like to purge it. And then it will continue to accumulate those changes, additions, deletions, etc. from this time forward. Your file will be much smaller. That report will run much quicker. And you can always go back to the hard copy if you need to get to data that was generated previously. I hope that you have learned something new today about keeping track of customer changes, uh, as well as the audit report. Um, if you have any other needs or questions, please don't hesitate to contact us here at DWD Technology Group, as we would be more than happy to assist you. Again, my name is Brad Prather. And I thank you for watching this video.